you recording? Yeah. Thank you. I think what we want the audience to experience is to see how the moral of the story is not just for one group of people, but it's universal theme. The theme of not lying and not being lazy and working hard is for everybody. As um, we demonstrated today, yeah, yeah, that everybody really got. Yeah, it's, um, it's a cultural folk tale team from the Philippines. So, of course, the deal is that we adapted the modern audience, specifically the youth. So, we incorporated certain things and you know, surprised a lot of things, and it's great to interact with the kids. I mean, they really love it. And kids are always throwing different things and new things out as well as different audiences. Yeah. And here at Burbank Elementary, they're always So, it's really exciting. There was a great group of students. Yeah. So, how do you find how kids accept it? Oh, it's great. It changes in every place. Um, that's kind of like what our motto for Miss Glau is, making sure that we're able to entertain, but at the same time inspire uh, the audience members. And children are so easy to be inspired when you do a story that's really fun and interactive. You know, we talked about how to say hello, thank you, goodbye and then um, had them perform, but also really get into the, the moral of the story. Yeah. And there's a lot of performers here already. We saw that we oh, yeah, the yeah, performances yeah. here for the International Day Assembly, and these kids are great. I mean, a lot of them have no good inhibitions and a lot of good energy yeah. you know, they bring it forth. So we were really excited to come and, and perform the Ron Yeah. So oh, where do you guys perform? We do schools and um, universities, community centers. If um, we're on www.myspace, um, I mean Facebook, Miss Clow, M E Z C L A O, if you wanted to see our work, all of our programming is in there. That's Miss Clow. That's our group. Hold on. I'm going to check if we're recording. So, do you live in Hollywood? Yes, I live in Hollywood. Awesome! It was so far to get here, but I got stuck in traffic. Uh. <laughs> I need to get here. So what makes this, uh, this thing different? Other plays or other stories? Well, it's very apparent that we are so interactive. The great thing about Wesley is very um, good based on improv. So, I mean, we're just bringing students up and we kind of like we have a script, but then when the students get in the, the group, it changes everything, you know? So, incorporating dancing. You know, and you know, we both have extensive theater background, so arts is where we're rooted in, and it's nice to share that uh, with the kids. Even though, you know, they're audience members, we can get them just as involved, too, and that's part of the whole theater and arts experience. Yeah. So we, we, you know, really appreciate that and bring value to it, so that's what we like to bring here. Definitely. That's what, you know, how, how do you think you know, I grew up in the Philippines and all the comic books, the movies, the, the literature we read growing up. And so when um, we were talking about it last year, I was like, it would be nice to bring this book tale into life. And not a lot of Filipino Americans know about it. So to do a modern twist to it, to uh, make it more in the American sense, yeah. you know, interactive for that group. It's a lot of fun. 
Yeah, and I mean, yeah, it's really through American Vita, we, we could relate, like, growing up and having my mom, and, uh, our mom there, and <laughs> telling us, you know, things not to do, but they're, they're there, and, you know, they're, they're looking out for what's best for us, and it's, it's nice, because these kids can relate, you yeah. can relate, and yeah. they want to be able to bring that, and, you know, our story as Filipino Americans is, is, is that, we're both Filipino really and American. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but in the know, Philippines, we're all close to that, but it's something also. beautiful as an American day. We're going to celebrate that. It's really nice because it fits yeah. perfectly. Yeah, I mean, one, one thing is uh, a girl just came up to me and she was like, she's Latina, and she was like, you know, that's my brother. You know, and that's kind of like to use our own cultural heritage, but then open it up because at the end of the day, we're, we're one. You know, so it's really nice to hear things like that. My mom always told me to be sure. It's it's a universal story. You know, it's very exciting. Why don't you have other people to say, especially in Hong Kong? Basically, um, learning that no matter what, you always get caught. So why not just be good and be honest and hard work? And I think one um, aspect of being Filipino is um, we're hardworking group of people, you know. Like when mom works two jobs, you know, so it's like, and um, we want to instill that in the youth.